just doing too much. What up, it's your girl Minna. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're not already subscribed, make sure that you do that. Today, I wanna to talk with you. Look at me, I'm doing a lot because I have on these rings and I wanna show you. <laughs> That's all, <laughs> nothing more. <laughs> Today, what are we talking about? We are talking about how I edit my videos. It's a one-step process, literally. Back in the day, a year ago, I used to do a lot to my pictures, you know, on Instagram or before putting them on it. Before putting them on Instagram, I used to do quite a bit. I used to upload it into Lightroom and then apply my filter. Then I would upload it into Facetune. I would whiten my teeth further. They're already white, but I'd whiten them further. I would whiten the white part of my eyes. I would put detail on my eyelashes, maybe my eyebrows, definitely my highlight. I would smooth out my skin, even though just gonna pat myself on the shoulder. I do a lot of skincare routines and stuff to my face. If you are following me on Instagram, then you already know this. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are. I do a lot of skincare stuff on there and I'll bring it to my YouTube as well, but it's already there. Lots of videos and things there, but I used to smooth out my skin even more. I would darken my eyeliner. I might put detail on my lips if I had a gloss on or something like that, or I would smooth it depending on what I was feeling or whatever. And sometimes I would detail my hair or my jewelry and then I would upload. Yo, the pictures were <laughs> immaculate, okay? And that just isn't, it just isn't the vibe for me anymore. It takes way too much work and it's too fake. Ever since I got this new lens about three months ago, the quality of my content is out of this world. I still use my Canon T6i. I've had that for like five years now. However, I have a new lens. It's a Sigma 50 millimeter F1.4. It's such a tongue twister. I'll link all this below in case you want to grab it or look at it, right? Very pricey, but so, so worth it. If you've been following me on Instagram for some time, you know when the shift happened. Like it was clear, literally and figuratively. So I don't need to do all that anymore. And not to mention, I'm just so sick and tired of it. It takes, it used to take me so much effort just to get a picture ready to upload like who has the time to sit and take 30 minutes to edit like 10 pictures and then upload it I don't have the time so now when I take pictures from my camera when I'm sitting right here in my studio I and I and I have my settings the way that I need them to be like them to be based on my room based on my lights based on my skin tone based on the window in front of me so I have my settings on my camera based on that so it does not help for me to show you my settings because it's based on my setting like literally where I'm at okay so once you get the setting right like once you you narrow that down and get it the way you want it to be granted each day I might tweak it from time to time on my desktop I might maybe increase saturation or increase the contrast decrease the contrast whatever change the ISO all of that but what since that's perfectly where I need to be literally when I take a picture on this camera when I'm sitting right here when I do my makeup and I'm like taking my thumbnails or whatever when I sit here and take the picture and I download it and send it to my phone I do nothing nothing to the picture. I don't know, it's just amazing. I just have it the way that I want it, pre-production, so that when I produce the picture and then download it, there is literally nothing that I have to do post. There have been times where my picture has been too bright, exposed, so there are times where I've had to lower down the brightness, but literally that is all I do when I'm taking pictures on this camera. When I use my phone, then I will put my picture into Lightroom Mobile. I've got a preset from Marika Evans. She's a photographer in Dallas, absolutely amazing. She sells presets. So I bought her preset over a year ago and I use that all the time. And the great thing about it is because I know how I want my pictures to look literally from the pictures based, based like the pictures that come from my camera and then the pictures that I actually end up using her filter for, they look almost the same. Because in my mind, I just know what I want it to look like. So when I chose 
per preset. Granted, I have changed some of the settings in Lightroom Mobile, which you can do, and she encourages it based on what you like. And I've increased saturation and like different contrasts and, and different kind of things. But that preset is literally the only one that I use and I will alter it based on the picture and based on what I need. So I use that when I am editing pictures that I've taken that I've taken on my phone or that I've taken on my Canon G7X. It's not next to me, I wish I had brought it next to me, but when I use my Canon G7X, which is not often because I usually use this camera, when I use that Canon G7X, then I do need to edit the pictures because that I can't set the way that I can set this camera that I'm using right now. So it's a one-step process. Literally, I download the picture into my phone, upload it to Lightroom Mobile, press a few buttons like I'm showing you here, and then literally save it to my camera roll, and then I upload it to Later, which is what I use to schedule my pictures, or leave it on my phone and then just upload it whenever I feel like it. But that is all that I do. So no need to smooth out my skin, no need to detail my lashes, no need to detail my highlight. Like this camera does all that for me and it looks so good. Like this lens, it has transformed the quality of my pictures so much so that I barely use my phone for pictures because the quality is just not going to be the same. It's just not. So all this to say, you need to get a preset. I would say if you want, if you're asking me, everyone needs to get a preset. It just helps to make your all your whole page cohesive based on what you like. And you can always change your preset. You can get a few that complement each other and you can use that. This camera, like I mentioned, is very old. You just need to change out the lens every now and then. And this is a beautiful, beautiful lens. Pricey, but well worth it. Lightroom Mobile is free so you should download it and then you upload the preset to it it's very technical you definitely just need to follow the instructions from the person you buy the preset from there are presets on Etsy obviously photographers have them and so on and so forth so there are presets everywhere and you can buy them from whoever you want to you can buy as many as you want you can use as many presets as you'd like it is up to you if you still want to use Facetune go for it people still do that you can use all kinds of different apps to like slim out your face heighten your cheekbones make your head more narrow I don't have time for that. Who I am is who I am. What I got is what I got and that's what y'all gonna get, okay? I hope that answers the questions that I get all the time about how I edit my pictures and then also what tech I use. There it is right there. Hopefully this video was helpful. Comment and let me know if it was. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. As always, glad you're here and thanks for watching.